I had a professor once who who was um, weight was a really I don't want to say sensitive topic, but it was important to her. And she was saying, "Hey, let's get rid of the scale, like all together. Let's just throw the scale out, forget it. You know, let's just all weight is healthy weight." Which okay, I didn't say that last part because I don't want to put words in her mouth. But I swear to you, she said, "Let's just forget about the scale. Let's just forget about weight." Which I get what she was going to because there's a lot of negative connotations when you always think about like, oh, what weight am I? Like what weight I want to be, what weight I should be. But the fact that you want to look at a person who is over 350 pounds and say that, hey, you're beautiful the way you are. It's like, yo, we got to, come on. What are we doing here? Seriously. You know, or vice versa. We have someone, you know, a 20, 30 something year old who's under 100 pounds, you know, and super like anorexia where you can see the bones. It's like, dude, what? I'd be crazy to tell you that you that you look good and that everything's fine. As a friend, as someone who cares for you, I should tell you to get it together. And that might seem harsh and that might seem negative. What I can tell you is this. The heaviest I've ever weighed in my entire life was about uh, two months ago. A month, two months ago. I was 166. I'm normally around like 140, 145, right? So I'm 166. And at one point, I swear to God, my mom just looks at me. She goes, hey, you're putting on some weight. Get it together. Seriously. And you know what I did? I said, thank you. Now, again, I know it's a sensitive topic. I know it's tough. I know that you have things like bullying and jerks and kids are just really cruel and mean. And I'll, and I'll say this. Please just remember, my friends, this balance, right? This balance between if you're always trying to be that perfect weight that you see on Instagram, that's not true. It doesn't exist. That's Photoshop. Those girls on Instagram don't even, like, like it's, it's this false perception that you always have to be skinnier and skinnier means better. Not necessarily, no. I like to think that there's a moderation, right? There's a balance between, hey, this, you're unhealthy. Like, like, you don't have any meat on you, young lady. Like, this is, this is not good, right? But then there's also the same thing on the other side. But I, I do want to say this, right? When you, it doesn't sound professional, but when you catch yourself slipping, you know, you got to be the one to tell yourself, hey man, I gotta get it together. I gotta stay in shape, right? Regardless if that hurts your feelings or not. And when people tell you, you know, maybe you can use it as a motivator. I've heard people in high school who got picked on because of their weight and it was terrible. Those people, they were jerks in the, the manner that they did it, right? Like they were just being, you know, pieces of garbage. The ones who were saying it like bullies and whatnot. But I've also heard other kids who were like, you know what, man? Yeah, I was kind of picked on for my weight and thank God they did. Because it was those insults and that making fun of me that motivated me to work out and to get after it. And I've, I've never been healthier. Right? For some people when they, but again, that's not for everybody. I'm not saying you should embrace the bullies and like it. But I'm just saying that some people, when they kind of get that, that negative energy from people, they get motivated. And they push out and they do things that they didn't do before. Whereas other people, when they get it, it kind of crushes them. And they kind of go in and they kind of sink low. And the worst thing that can happen is this, you know. If you want someone to feel better, if you want to make someone better, right, either psychologically or physical health wise, you really got to be careful how you tell them. Because a lot of people, there's some topics that become very sensitive to you, right? You have a huge emotional reaction to them. And weight is one of those big ones. So if you have a friend or something and you're worried about their weight, either, you know, you, you think it should be more than it is or less than it is. It's not saying, hey, let's have everybody lose weight. That's not what this is. But this is realizing that we want people to be healthy, right? And that's not what Instagram says isn't healthy, right? What some random podcast guy says is healthy isn't healthy. It's you got to look at the science and you got to look at the data and you got to look at actual bodies and look at your BMI, your body mass index. You got to look at your age and you got to look at your height. And then with that, it'll give you a, about a range of where your weight should be so you can be considered around healthy. I'm not saying everybody should be an athlete, but the fact that we're going to pretend that people who are unhealthy are healthy is not a good idea. You know, I was in the grocery store a few weeks ago and I'm walking past this, this woman, she's a bigger woman, and she's walking past me and she's walking with her friend and her friend looks over and she's like, so uh, what did the doctor say when you, when you went to see him? And the girl's like, oh, she, he said the same old BS. Right, and, and when you hear something like that, you know, like listen folks, losing weight can be extremely hard. Losing weight is extremely hard. And actually, putting on weight is also extremely hard. If you've gone all your life at a certain weight and you're, you're, like, you're not used to eating a lot or you're not used to drinking water all the time and like weightlifting, putting on weight can be just as hard as losing weight. And, and it's a tough issue, man. It's a serious issue. But I, I do believe that, you know, when you look at things like health, and I know we're kind of veering away from kind of like that morality, like philosophy of like life. But when you're looking at things like health and weight, 
and just health in general, it's really, really, really important that we keep our feelings to one side and we look at, okay, what is true, right? What is right? Sometimes doing what's right doesn't feel good, right? Because it's sad to say, because when you start, you know, steering away from that idea of like, I'm perfect the way that I am, it's like, well, I've got a lot of faults, right? I've got a lot of things that I can make better. So it, it's this perfect kind of moderation that you want to find where you say to yourself, okay, there's a lot wrong with me, okay? There's a lot of faults. The good thing is that I have such a huge potential and I can be so much greater than I am that if I just say I'm perfect the way that I am, I'll never, I'll never step out of my comfort zone, right? You'll never push for more. You'll never try to achieve more. The, the other side of that is if you're constantly thinking of trying to get better, I'm never good enough and I want to be skinny and I need to be smarter, it, that, that's not a good way to live, my friends. That's, that's a way of anxiety and really self-doubt and self-frustration and that's, I don't recommend that either. So please find the balance in between 